Hello and welcome to this Unreal Engine tutorial. I'm going to be making a save point with a collision box. So to start things off, I'm in the third person map and I'm going to make a new folder and call this Blueprints. I'm going to open that up, make a new Blueprint class and just search in the classes for Save Game. Make one of these, we're going to call this save game object. And you can open that up, and I'm going to make a new variable. I'm going to call this player position. So this is going to allow us to save and load the player position. And then you choose a vector. And that's all you have to do with this. You can close that down and make another blueprint. This is going to be the checkpoint. So I'm going to make an actor, I'll call this BP checkpoint. So then open that up and we're going to make a collision box. So this is going to trigger an event when the player enters this box. With that trigger box selected, scroll down and choose on component begin overlap. Click the plus. This takes us to our event graph where I'm going to come out and we're going to search for does save game exist? So we're going to check to see if there's already a save. And that's going to go into a branch. Oh. Branch. And if there is a save game, then we're going to want to load game from slot. And if there isn't, we're going to want to create a save game and the, the class is going to be that save game object that we made a moment ago. So then from here, if there, if there is a save, then we're going to want to cast to save game object. And then we're going to set the player position, which is that variable that we made a moment ago. And if there isn't, if there isn't, we are going to also set the player position. And that can be the target. Then we're going to get actor location. I'm really just going to plug that in like so. And then from here, we are going to save game to slot. And we're going to do the same up top. Now, we need a slot, which is going to kind of store the, the save for us. And you just have to make sure that you use the same name for all of them. I'm just going to do a one to keep things simple. Yeah. So then our return value from here can go into the save game object and the same up top. And that's also going to go into our target. Sorry, just plug in your return value here into the save game object. Now you can compile and save. One last thing, go onto the box and search for hidden in game and just untick that. So we can actually see where our checkpoint is. Now I'm going to close that down. I'm going to open up the third person character. And I'm just going to go back over to my checkpoint because we can actually copy these first four nodes and paste those in because we're going to be using them again. And this is going to come out of event begin play, but I'm just going to make a sequence here as there's already some code um, in the in the template. So this is going to go first, it's going to run this code, and then second, 
it's going to check if a save game exists. Remember that slot name needs to be one again. That's going to go back into a branch. Load game from slot. Cast to save game object. Then from here, we are going to get the player position. And we are going to set vector location. And that location is going to be that variable that we made earlier again. So now that's all looking fine. I'm just going to go back into my checkpoint and from the save game exist, plug that into the branch condition. Then compile that and close that down. We're just going to drop checkpoint into the game. And now if I play, you see, I can enter the checkpoint, escape, and when I play again, I'll be in the checkpoint. Now we can just copy that over. And you'll see we'll start here, enter that checkpoint, and when we play again, we'll be in the new checkpoint. So I hope that helps. Oh, another thing you can add is something to actually trigger the, um, the loading of the game. So if I go back into my contents, just going to make a new blueprint actor. We're going to call this BP enemy. Villet. You get the idea. <laughs> um, open that up. I'm going to add another box collision. Then with that selected, again, search for hidden in game, untick that. Scroll down to on component begin overlap and then just do open level by name. I'm going to call this I third person map. So now when I drop that in, I enter, I start there or I start here. I've made another tutorial where um, this, the enemy box, um, is kind of this rotating thing that will actually kill you and cause a little animation when it does so. So follow along to that if you want to add another part to this. But if that's all you need, then thanks for watching.